Hey gamers, welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. I hope that everybody is doing absolutely fantastic today. And in today's video, I'm going to give you guys another option to legitimately make a ton of nanites. Yeah, I mean, you can see how many nanites I've been able to generate with some of the things that I've been talking to you guys about. If I can do it, you guys can do it as one. If you guys want to make money, then go ahead and check out some of my other videos. But if you guys are enjoying these types of videos, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated, but it also helps you guys because it will help others that are looking for this type of information. If you just spend a couple seconds of your time, probably clicked it faster than I just spoke. So let's just be honest there. But anyway, let's get into today's video. There's a couple things that I do need to get for warning about. Number one, you do have to have access to all 16 of the glyphs and have found yourself a portal. Pretty much all these videos kind of start that way. Honestly, if you want to get around in No Man's Sky, I recommend that you guys do it anyway. You can go to the travelers or you can just complete the, the main story and then get all of your 16 glyphs. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that in this video. And then I want to let you guys know that there's going to be a ton of different farms that you guys will be able to go to when you get there. So you guys can choose whatever one you want, but I'm going to show you guys the one that I prefer. And it's actually not even that far away from the portal that we will arrive at. And also do keep in mind that the place that we're going to be traveling to is has a lot of storms that are superheated. So if you're not well equipped for that, then maybe don't make this journey quite yet, but just be warned about that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and input the um, the code that we need to go to in order to actually get to the plant that we want to go to to get a ton of nanites. And what we're doing, obviously, is the mold uh, runaway farm. Uh, so we got face, we got the bird, we've got I don't know what this one was actually called anymore. The YMCA thing, the Y, we got the bug, the atlas. The black hole, the ship, the starship, the Y thing again, the sunset, and I think I no, I didn't miss up. Um, and then we got the face, and then we got the sunrise or sunset again. Thought I messed the sunset there for a second, but anyway, you guys can go ahead and pause it, uh, rewind it if you guys need that full portal or address, and there you go. So anyway, we will see you guys on the other side. It will just take a couple of moments, depending on. You know what your loading times are given on your console or pc whatever you guys are playing on and i am actually doing this with a multiplayer turned off and then that way i don't have to like deal with other people so if you don't want to have to deal with other people then by all means go ahead and disable your multiplayer as well it really doesn't matter for this farm anyway now there's a couple reasons that i'm going to go to a very specific one when we actually get here um Number one being that, um, where's my ship? It's on the other side. Um, it actually has portals, like quick portals that you can actually just teleport from and then go back and then the runaway mold will actually go ahead and respawn. And it actually does have refiners there that you can actually use as well, which makes it really nice and convenient. But you can see that there are quite a few of bases. Um, that one is actually okay as well, the eight ball. But the one that we're actually looking for is, uh, I guess, Rise 18 Refiners plus Mold Farm. I will tell you that it actually does not have 18 refiners. So they have taken some away over time, they have used them for whatever, or I maybe, maybe I'm just dumb and I don't know where they're at. But I've looked everywhere around that specific base, and there are some there. But there's definitely not 18 and they're all medium so you don't have to go ahead and bring your own fuel for it because you can actually just input them right into the machine if you want to now there are a few bases that actually have carbon farms on them which actually makes it really convenient so when you get over here you're actually going to want to land up here where it says nanite base number two and we will go ahead and initiate the landing sequence but yeah, if you want to go to those farms and they have carbon, um, some of them actually have all of the zero through nine storage so that you guys can easily have access to your storage from anywhere, which really makes it really nice and convenient. I've tried a lot of different ones, but I just kind of prefer this one because this one is the only one that has these portals that are just kind of like that teleport you away. So you come in here, you're actually all covered 
which is really, really nice. The only time that you won't be is when you go to do the portal, but you're only going to be out there for a few seconds anyway. And then the farm itself is right in here. And you can see that we have all the runaway mold just kind of chilling out there. And then all of the um, um, medium refiners are in here. So definitely not 18. I see six unless there's some missing that I just don't see. Or yeah, I, I mean, I've locked all the way around this base a few times, but it's possible I just missed it. And then you obviously have a portal to actually get out of here. So let's go ahead and kind of show you what I have done uh, to get some of my nanites. Um, you will get a full stack for this, which, well, if you have an upgraded multi-tool anyway. And then you can actually just go ahead and f start shooting at these things and they'll start coming. All, all of them will come down here, which is really fantastic. Just kind of come off to the side here and we can harvest it. Now, depending on how you've upgraded your multi-tool will depend on how much you can actually, um, how long you can do this. But typically I can actually harvest all of this mold before I even get to 100%. You can see there we're actually generating quite a bit of the mold. And then I'll show you guys uh, how much we're going to have in our inventory. I guess I should have probably cleared out my inventory a little bit before this and then well, we can actually go ahead and look at it now and go to the exosuit and uh, a full stack and some I think I must have had some in my inventory from before so I do apologize for that but typically I get a full stack every time that I do this and then we just kind of you know run up here and then I would uh, you know start refining some so I would go ahead and throw a full stack in now a full stack will actually take a full 19 or full 20 minutes to actually complete so you will be able to get way more than what this can handle within that 20 minutes so just be aware of that too so if you want to go off to another place and let this thing kind of just work i guess that's up to you we can go in and you know begin this and now we only have what 170 or something oh I, so my starship has some I was doing this before, so I can't deny that I've got quite a bit here, but we could actually, you know, move some of that over if we want to. And then we could actually go here and then come down go over to the starship. You know, there's some as well. That makes it really nice convenient. So it's really nice that people have put this out for other people to use. I don't know who actually did this. I guess I don't know how to tell who actually made it. I'm guessing a guy's name is Rise because it's that's kind of what it's named after. But um, yeah, so then you can do all this. You know, start your... Oops, I didn't mean to split that stack, but whatever. And then all you need to do is come through this portal. And then keep walking. Oops. Kind of keep walking forward. Walk down here, and then this is the last one, and then you just kind of come back. Which, like I said, this is one of the only bases that I have found that actually has that. And then when you teleport back up here, all of the mold is back. And then you can just kind of just rinse and repeat everything that you just got done doing. So you just sit down here and kind of shoot all the mold, let it come down to you. Get it to run away and do all this and pretty easy peasy but yeah it's a nice way to make a ton of nanites really quickly and you just have to wait around you know the longest part is waiting around for the 19 minutes but there are some bases that have more refiners than this one definitely does but like i said the only thing that they have access to is the teleportation or what you'd have to do is go like up to this you know use that space go up to the space station and then use your long range uh, portal and then just kind of come back and forth from it and then that would regenerate stuff too so or you can sell the mold which you're not going to get a lot of money for you're going to get more from the cobalt anyway but anyway if you guys enjoyed today's video you know what to do like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated and honestly guys i will see you in the next one Bye bye